hello. So um, this problem is really simple, actually. If you if you figure if you um, look at it for in this way. So the question says a 0.46 kilogram pendulum bob is attached to a string 1.2 meters long. What is the change in the gravitational potential energy of the system as the bob swings from point A to point B in Figure 822, where um, where theta is 33, 33 degrees. Well, basically, what this is saying is, is um, if you move from, if if you say, if you say, let's say this is a ground, if you say this is a ground, um, and and if you and if you say this part, this part where this is where, if you say the point B is a ground, and this part A. This, and this part is a this this part is this line this marked area is, is point a then then um, how much potential energy have you gained from moving from here to here so we just have to figure out that and that that is actually quite simple um, so let's let's draw some sort of triangle so let's say this is this is 1.2 meters and this is 1.2 meters okay you would agree agree with that, right? You'd agree with that, right? And and all we have to do now is we all we have to do now is find find this purple the length of this purple thing and subtract it from one point two to get this this green. Uh, I, actually, I'll use darker green. So. So that that's how much poten this, this is how much potential energy it has gained from from this from B to A. So if you if so B so this is this and potential energy only works like up and down. So we just have to calculate the distance here, and we can just do m g h, where h is h is distance here. So this is going to be h, and that's going to be equal to our potential energy, which is going to be the which is going to be the same same thing as Change in poten gravitational potential energy as a a go from the pendulum bob goes from a to b. So, so basically, we use basic trigonometry. So, so basically, what this is saying is that this is theta. So we're gonna we're gonna say that this is theta. So what is this? This is a, a well, from Sokotoa. We know that in order to figure the, the purple thing out, because from from here to here, from here to here is 1.2, and the purple thing is a different number, and, and green is a different number. Green is uh, orange minus purple. So we know that um, cosine of theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, and in this case, co the theta is theta is 33 degrees and this this would be this number would be different for you and 0.46 kilograms is different for you too so cosine just note that while you're watching this so cosine 33 is equal to adjacent which we're trying to figure out over hypotenuse which is 1.2 so adjacent is just simply 1.2 times cosine of 33 because we multiply 1.2 on each side and then we get we get one point. If if you multiply cosine thirty three by one point two and a over one point two, the one point two cancels out on this side, and we get one point two cosine of thirty three. So, so if we use our calculator to figure that out, one point two times cosine of thirty three, and make sure you're in degree mode. No, just so we get a. So I'm gonna store this to a because that's the adjacent. So a is equal to one. All right. Um, okay, so let's find the height. What? Well, how do we find the height? Well, it's just 1.2 minus a, because a that's going to be the purple one. So let me, so let me rewrite this in purple. So a is one. So this is going to be a. So 1.2 minus a will give us h. So so 1. Point, um, so 1.2 minus a which is 1 will give us h so h is going to equal to um, if we use if you want to use real value it's, it's gonna it's gonna equal to um, point 
0.19.19. So around around one around 0 0.2. So I'm just gonna store this into um, store this into h for height. So now we, we can figure out the the potential energy. Mass is 0.446. Mass is 0.46. Gravity is 9.8 and height is 0.19 and we get the potential potential energy from that potential energy that has that has been gained if you has that has been gained if you moved from here to here which is what's done in the diagram it's moved it's moved from here to here and we're just calculating the difference or the change so it doesn't matter where you're going from here to here to here or here to here the change is going to be the same Except one might be negative and one might be positive, but um, anyways. Uh, okay, let's see. So that times 9.8 times 4, 0.46, which is a kilogram. So I got uh, potential energy is, is 0 0.87, 0 0.87 joules. Now, if you're moving from from A to B, um, since the motion is downwards, that means uh, the work done by gravity, the chain or the change, um, work done by the the gravitational potential energy or the change in gravitational potential energy would be this way as well because gravity acts that way, so it's going to be positive. But if you're going from B to A, then then the motion is going to be the motion is going to be this way, but the, the the work done is going to be this way, so it's going to be negative if you're going from B to A. So just keep that in mind when you're answering in the web assign. And that's that. This is basically how you solve this problem.